So, got this giant 1,200 pound bale of hay. Got my little companion. Well, the chickens are christening the cow stall on this beautiful day. Well, the bathtub is filling up nicely. Yay! So happy Cam knows how to do things. Just keeping us company. He's doing good with his sport dog collar on. Staying within the bounds. Hey, baby! And this guy is all done. All done. So the cow is going to be here in seven minutes, according to the driver. We got feed, water, like feed and hay, hay, water. I've got the halter ready because she doesn't have anything on her. Got a little bucket of her grain. Cam's got Albie in the house. I'm super excited, I'm very nervous. <laughs> Um, but it's all just gonna, you know, work out and we'll see the cow really soon. Hi, honey. How are you? Hi, Lauko. She's a very crooked face, but she's a very sweet girl. And Raj is very upset because he doesn't understand that she's his new best friend. So I wasn't able to record her getting dropped off and not wanting to get off the trailer. It was not easy. She was very reluctant. She wasn't mean or anything, but it took a lot of convincing and luckily the woman delivering her knew exactly what she was doing and we got her off without incident. Just checking things out. At this point, Lauko is just looking around, seeing what's what and becoming familiar with her surroundings. And I'm just standing around because I don't know what she's gonna do or what I should be doing. I'm trying to make sure that she knows where her water trough is and her food. And I'm also trying to cover up any icy parts with little bits of hay so that she doesn't slip. You can see I'm trying to get her to drink the water and the chickens are curious too. It's Lauko's second day here, and I'd say she's settling in nicely, and we're also learning about her. Um, last night, she <laughs> wanted to get to the bale of hay that's just on the other side of the gate, and she just walked through our gate, literally like it was nothing. Hi, honey. I'm also learning that she, sorry, I didn't know what she was gonna do. She's very friendly and she's by herself, which we are all about having happy cows. So we're very aware of the fact that we don't want her to be by herself, but her calf is due in 19 days. So we think that the best thing is just to wait until her calf arrives. Um, she slept in her pen last night. I put in extra bedding to keep her warm because I started to worry if she had slept in a heated barn. Oh, right, about the gate. So we ended up having a run in the dark with Wilf, and Albie was having a nap. Anyway, we had to run an electric wire blocking the gate, and she seems very aware of it. 
the other thing is this morning we went for a dog walk like after i'd done the chores and checked on her and everything like that and we went for a dog walk and we walk along the fence line here on the outside with the dogs to go in the forest and stuff like that down the trails and she came like almost running to follow us so she's definitely missing companionship i think maybe i'm projecting my feelings but when i'm out here she seems really settled um and content and when I'm not here, I hear her from the house. Not bellowing a lot, but like a little bit. I don't even know if this works, but spraying. <laughs> That's not the right word. Anyway, she's really sweet. She also likes fresh hay. So even though she has a pile of hay, I'll just throw a couple handfuls off the bale. Um, I think with the next bale, there's a lot of wastage if you like just bring the bale in, but I might just like let her go crazy on the bale because there's gonna be a lot, a lot of wastage on this giant bale anyway, I think, based on like what gets left on the floor and she doesn't eat. Yeah, so that's it. She's eating, she's drinking, she's sleeping in her pen, and today she hasn't knocked over any fences, and I just come out and try and keep her company as much as I can, but she's definitely really sweet. Um, I'm really happy. I brushed her. I've also touched her udders and they're warm and smooth so she's feeling comfortable around me and I'm feeling comfortable around her. She's been hand milked a lot um, in the past so she should be fine. If you're interested in the adventures with Lauco and um, she's giving birth in 19 days and what's gonna happen, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye!